Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for around the 27th, but keep in mind the timing is fluid, and not every reading is for you, so we're just going to see what comes up. What do we have for a message today? Keep in mind that the timing is fluid. I know people don't get it. Some people are like, you don't pay attention to the day. How do you get through the things? I'm trying to make a point. All right, so what do we got for a message? Okay. Look beyond the surface. Dig deep. Look beyond the words. What's beyond the words? Okay. What's it? Don't don't look at the face value. Look beyond. Look beyond those words. There's there's always more than what you hear, or what you see. But if you only look at the face value, you're missing a lot. Oh. Two cards flipped over. Ooh, and they are good ones. Judgment and the Hierophant. So the, the Hierophant is a spiritual teacher. Judgment is a judgment call to spiritual awakening. Um, listen to your gut. Listen to your intuition. You're going to need to. The spiritual guidance here. Uh, spiritual awakening. Spiritual awakening, judgment call, making a wake up call. We have a wake up call here, an epiphany. Um, there's a higher power that is involved in whatever is happening. There's a higher power that is involved. Definitely, you think about you think about judgment day. It's when you when you go up to heaven, right? If, if you believe in that, you, you judgment day and what's in heaven, God, which is interesting because we have we have uh, judgment day here we have judgment day so judgment is about to be made there's a higher power involved could be dealing with a Taurus could be dealing with a Scorpio it's interesting because they are they're on the same axis you know on the zodiac we have Taurus and Scorpio which is interesting because we have Taurus and Scorpio here but it doesn't matter um, there's a higher power involved that is divinely guiding somebody um, somebody that has passed away could be assisting as well um, commitment, acceptance, forgiveness, release, the end of things, making a judgment call, really listen, listen to your gut, you're probably going to have to make some sort of judgment call or a judgment call is about to be made um, there's divine guidance here somebody is being guided there's good there's guidance there's guidance awareness spiritual awakening a wake-up call somebody's about to get a wake-up call life-changing decision there's a life-changing decision that is being made Listen to your gut. You're going to have to listen to your gut. This is the end of things. It's the end of a trial. There's karma here as well. Higher power sees all. goodness gracious ten of swords that is the death of a situation it is the end something is coming to an end page of pentacles reversed seven of swords seven of swords is deception it is cheating it is lies uh, We could also have somebody that is getting out of a situation. They are making a judgment call. They are getting out of something. They're, they are. They're getting, they could be getting out of a commitment. There could also be theft. Okay, there could be theft. I wonder if somebody is stealing something. If they are, they're going to be judged. Okay, there's judgment that is coming. Ten of Cups. 
You have these two tens together, ten of swords, ten of cups, both together. Ten of cups is happiness. The storm is over. This is the end of suffering. The ten of cups is, uh, the ten of swords is right above the ten of cups. So this is the completion, completion, the end of suffering. Judgment is right before the ten of swords. That's double tens. Ten, 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 completion, completion, completion. We got a major completion here. You need to have faith. You need to believe that everything happens for a reason. The page of pentacles reversed is not, something isn't happening the way, it's not what you think, okay, there's somebody that isn't going down that path, they're giving up, they're dropping out, they're dropping out of a situation, there's a lack of integrity here, somebody lacks integrity, Integrity. they, they don't have the focus or whatever, the backbone, or the backbone to do the right thing, um, or, or maybe they're being divinely guided to drop out of something because the Hierophant is right above it. This is don't put in effort. Don't go down that road. Don't go down that path. Maybe they're being told from their gut or from some sort of divine guidance, a higher power to know, don't do it. Don't go down that path. Seven of Swords is deception. In this case, this guy is, t is leaving. He's leaving something. He can't take it all. He, he's leaving something behind. Somebody may be making a judgment call to leave something behind, you know. Whoever this person is that is leaving something behind is headed towards happiness because he's headed towards the Ten of Cups. So somebody is headed towards happiness. I feel like this person has been betrayed. They're hurting. They've been suffering. This is the end of suffering. This is making a life-changing decision. So a life-changing decision is being made right now. They have been divinely guided, divinely told to do so by some, you know, I don't know if a counselor has been involved or God or a higher power or something like that. There is happiness in the future, a lot of it. Fool, stepping into unknown territory, uh, taking a risk. We have somebody here that is being guided to start a new journey. They're going to be doing something impulsive. They're going to, this is actually exciting. This is an exciting new beginning. Ace of Pentacles upright. So that yes, this is a yes. This is, this is a yes. This is a definitely a wake-up call. This is a gift. Somebody is, has received a gift. This is a gift. This is something that they manifested. This is a, a new investment. Somebody is receiving a gift, a golden opportunity. Leaving behind some stuff. Whoever it is that is making this life-changing decision is leaving some things behind. This person is leaving some things behind. Only taking some, you know, you can have it. I don't want it. I'm out. I'm leaving. Somebody is leaving a situation, making a judgment call to release and, and move on and Hope for acceptance. There is acceptance here. This is the end of suffering. It's a dead end. It's almost like somebody is being told uh, to really listen to their gut and they are listening. They've gone, gotten some sort of epiphany or some sort of awakening and their gut is really telling them that they have to go. They can't just live and die in this situation. Stepping into unknown territory, stepping forward in faith. We have faith here a couple times. Somebody is, 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 is replacing their fear with faith. They're grabbing on to an opportunity. They want the opportunity. They manifested this opportunity. They're going for it. Emperor. Emperor. So we could be dealing with an Aries. We have Aries twice. We have Scorpio and Taurus. 
Um, this is taking charge. Somebody is taking charge. They're taking back control. This is somebody that is, is, is taking a leadership position. This is somebody that is ready. They are ready to fight. They are ready to battle. This is somebody that is very, has a life experience, has a lot of life experience that is, is making a judgment call. This is like a judge. This is like a ruler. This is a boss. This is a person that is in a position of authority that is making a decision based on what their gut is telling them and based on some sort of truth because judgment is truth. They're going to be releasing something. They're making a life-changing decision. And it is in regards to their happiness. This is a leader, okay? The emperor is a leader. And this emperor is received, has a gift. This emperor, there's a gift here. It's like somebody's trying to offer that emperor a gift this is a yes take it take it i feel like this emperor is taking something they're taking something that they uh, are being offered this emperor is is being offered a gift it's a golden opportunity for long-term stability this is a win this is a yes making a life-changing decision that is best for everybody involved. We definitely have happiness around the corner. The storm is over. There could be a, a reunion here. You know, there could be a reunion between two people that are meant to be together with that judgment card. This is the end of things. It is the end of suffering. I feel like we have somebody here that has been cheated. Maybe they have been investing in something that is a dead end. They've been taken advantage of somebody. Or some they have been taken advantage of by somebody. They've been foolish. Somebody has made a foolish mistake. But now it feels like they're ready. They're ready to step into unknown territory. This is definitely taking a risk. We do have somebody here that is about to take a risk. They're about to do something. Uh, because they don't want to stay in this situation. They've been betrayed. Somebody has been betrayed. They made a foolish mistake. They've been foolish. Somebody has been naive. They have been naive. Somebody may be making an escape as well. They may be making some, making an escape, you know, escaping a situation where, uh, I don't know if they were committed to somebody. They were committed to somebody that wasn't solid, that doesn't want commitment. There's somebody here in the past that doesn't want commitment, that will not commit. But there's also somebody here that does want commitment. This is the end of things. We have these tens, basically four of them. This is the end of suffering. And this 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 completion leads to a new uh, happiness, extreme happiness. I feel like there's some sort of reunion here. Or a reconciliation where two people are getting together. Somebody is receiving a gift. They they have received a gift. And I feel like they have been ignoring this gift, but they've gotten some sort of epiphany or something. This emperor is taking charge, taking the lead, making a decision. This is a decision maker. A decision is being made. A decision is being made. It is a very big decision. There has been some sort of pain here this is there's been a lot of pain this pain is coming to an end because of this decision that is being made it is a life-changing decision this is a change in position as well this is taking back control somebody is taking back control they were foolish they were foolish somebody was really 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 foolish they may have been deceiving themselves. 
Now it's like they're leaving. They're taking very little with them. They are. They're taking very little with them, but they're headed right towards happiness. There could be a change of residence here with the Fool card that is starting over from scratch. We also have uh, a gift. You know, I already said that the Ace of Pentacles is a gift. This is a gift. It is a windfall. It is abundance. It is an, it's a new beginning. It's a new stable, solid opportunity that can be permanent, okay? It's permanent. It's long term. Somebody is, is going down a path that leads to abundance. They've been cheating themselves of this abundance. Maybe because they didn't have faith. I see some sort of faith here too. It's like stepping forward in faith. I'm, I, I got to go do this. I'm stepping forward in faith. Releasing. Accepting. Hoping. Somebody may be hoping for forgiveness. Hoping for a reconciliation with somebody that, I don't know, maybe they didn't invest in because they were already in a commitment. Or they were, were foolish. reversed and ten of pentacles another freaking ten long-term stability is where it's at somebody has been unbalanced they have been unbalanced they have been unhealthy they've been in an unhealthy situation where they haven't been able to heal they've there's been a lack of healing there's been a lack of cooperation there's been a lack of harmony but they're headed right towards long-term stability the ten of pentacles change in residence as well increase increase of abundance once somebody masters their emotions we have somebody here that has been repeating negative patterns throughout their life. They haven't learned their lesson. Profound self-healing is needed. And I feel like they're headed into something where they will be fine stability. This is like marriage or they could be somebody could be getting together with somebody that they're going to marry long term. Long term financial success. We have somebody here that has been really suffering and I feel like something is going to happen that really hurts. This could be the straw that breaks the camel's back that wakes somebody up. It, it could be, you know, somebody talks to somebody about marriage or commitment and whoever they're talking to is like, what are you talking about? I'm not doing that, you know, or something like that and that's the wake up call somebody has also done something foolishly they've done something really really foolish they got they invested in a person that was not that had a wandering eye that truly wasn't committed and they were cheated and lied to and that's the straw that breaks the camel's back Some sort of truth is being accepted. It's being seen. This is the end of things. It is. I feel like it's the end of a commitment that has caused a lot of suffering. It's caused a lot of suffering. We have this Hierophant, the Judgment, and the Ten of Swords. Okay? And it's moving into something where, you know, there's abundance. A lot of abundance. Where you can be at ease. Somebody has been in a very tense situation. Extremely tense where there has been a lot of uneasiness and there's been, been a lot of discomfort and there's been no compromise, I feel like there's a change in the living situation. We have this emperor that is, you know, uh, making a judgment call. They're making a judgment call and they are uh, 
going in a different direction with that Fool card. That's starting a new journey, starting from scratch. I feel like there's a battle here that ends it all, okay? This is stepping down, admitting defeat. I'm not gonna fight anymore. I'm not gonna do this anymore, walking away. Somebody needs healing, they need love, they need tender loving care, they need stability, and they are headed right towards stability because this judge or emperor or whoever it is is making a judgment call based on the facts. Somebody is definitely walking away, the Five of Swords, okay? Definitely walking away. Um, there's been some sort of abuse, mental abuse, verbal abuse. We have somebody here that doesn't care who they hurt. This person is abusive. Goes overboard, go extremes with the Temperance Reverse. We have somebody here that is extremely hostile. You know, this is it's a it, it's an extremely hostile living environment. Okay, tense, very very tense. There's a lot of tension here. We have a high priestess on the bottom. That is somebody that is very very intuitive, very very observant, taking time, taking a time out to think about things go within. I think that we have somebody here that is going within. Their gut is really, 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 really speaking to them with the Hierophant and the High Priestess. Okay. This is a gift. This is a very gifted individual here who has a gift. Um, there is abundance. There's abundance here in the future. As soon as somebody walks away from uh, this person that has abused them. There is some sort of abuse here. Anyhow, there's abuse. There's, and maybe there's going to be a fight. There could be a conflict where somebody goes to extremes. You know, this is it because the, the, the temperance reverse is extremes. I feel like we have the end of a relationship. I'm just being honest with all these tens. I mean, we got basically, we got four of them. We got four of them. So, 10, 10, 10, 10, completion, completion, completion. This is the completion of a cycle and the beginning of a new one with the Fool card. Somebody is going down a new path and they ain't taking everything with them. They're taking some, but not all. And they're being divinely guided to do so. This is the end of things. This is a wake-up call. This is, a, this is a accepting and allowing and following the gut. Somebody is really following the gut. They're following their gut down a new path. They're replacing their fear with faith and they're hoping you know for forgiveness or hoping for things to end because they can't do this anymore they can't do this anymore this is extremely tense somebody is, is in a very tense situation where they have been betrayed and it hurts too much to stay in this situation they're dealing with somebody that is mentally unbalanced this person uh causes chaos and goes to extremes you know, and fights all the time and wants to win at all costs. And to hell with that. I mean, who wants to live like that? Not me. Um, so anyways, choosing, you know, the high priestess is somebody that is typically chooses to be alone. So somebody may be choosing to be alone, you know, to focus on themselves, focus on their spirituality. Or they may be receiving some sort of intuitive nudge to follow their gut and wake up. This is wake up. So somebody is waking up. They're waking up to the truth. They're seeing the truth. They're realizing the truth and they're leaving something behind that lacks integrity. You know, it's not real. It's not solid. It's not stable. And they're taking something that is. This is a golden opportunity for permanent success. So I do believe that there is a judgment call that is being made that changes everything. And that is what I got. I do see the end of something. Okay, with that Ten of Swords, that is, I mean, major ending with all these tens. It's a major, it's divinely guided. 
Uh, the universe is in control. There is also some sort of karma here. Um, somebody's, there's consequences. Somebody is getting some consequences for their action. There's a higher power here that sees all. Um, we have an individual here that wants to win at all costs. They are extremely unbalanced. I think that you also, some of somebody, I don't know who this is, needs to be careful because we have somebody here that likes to be in a position of control. They want to win at all costs. They are going overboard. They may be doing something deceptive. You know, they may be doing something deceptive. You may need to protect yourself. And I, and I say that because of the seven of wands reverse, protect yourself. There is some sort of argument here. Okay. Um, we may have somebody here that is very, very foolish that wants to win at all costs and they, they are planning something. This person is, is mentally unstable. Seven of swords next to the page of pentacles reversed. You know, they wanted a relationship. They feel rejected. They're really, really hurt. You know, so just, I, this is my third daily that I've done. And the other two I'm not going to share, but I see a re, there's a rejection here where somebody is rejected and they're reacting on their feelings and they could show up. And I saw that in the last two. We have somebody here that is, it's like almost like a stalker. So we may have a stalker that, or somebody that is, has been rejected that isn't taking it very well. They're very, very hurt and they could be reacting on their feelings. They're making a judgment call and it ends something. You know, this is somebody that uh, lacks integrity, that is mentally unbalanced, that uh, doesn't like to lose and they could be doing something um, <clears throat> against the law. Judgment can represent the law, so can't the, the Harrow font, and so can't the Seven of Swords. And anyhow, I do feel like we have some sort of abuse here. We have a hostile situation that could be unfold, unfolding. Somebody could show up at somebody's house, and whenever you get the Seven of Swords, that's be careful. Caution, be careful. There's something going on here behind the scenes. We have some sneaky behavior. Um, we definitely have an individual that is taking control this is somebody who likes to be in control they do not like to lose and they are they're uh about to do something um and it could be risky we could have somebody here that is doing something risky um they they want they want this they want something they want something that somebody else may have gotten it i had the six of pentacles they want it they're going after it um There could also be fighting over money. We could have some, which we talked about yesterday, with this is Five of Swords next to the Ten of Pentacles. That's fighting over money. We have somebody here that is goes extremely overboard with spending the money. That could be the straw that breaks the camel's back. Anyhow, um, yeah, I'm going to go back to my Julys now. Good luck.